Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Big reversal in global equity markets um, yesterday and today, even as the FOMC came out last night and said that they will not be raising rates before April, uh, which was, you know, the ter terminology was quite surprising because everybody was thinking, oh, well, it's going to be mid-summer anyway, and they've just said, well, we won't do it before April, uh, which I thought would be a bit more bullish for interest rates. And saying that, the dollar has rallied, and dollar yen spiked up, cables dropped down, uh, euro dollar obviously on the back foot but not as much as i would have thought and equities are driving up that little bit higher with the us 30 potentially hitting short-term potential resistance at 17 3 70 uh, 38 and as you can see it's already tried to break above that but to get pushed back down again which is close to that 21 period sma all of the technicals are neutral um but we do have a little bit of economic data due out later on today you've got unemployment claims uh, and to be fair, that's pretty much it from the US. And quickly fast forward on Friday, you've got Chinese CPI uh, and obviously non-farm payroll. So a bit of a big day on Friday. And you can sign up to our webinar, uh, our live webinar that we do. If you go to support and then live trader events, you can um, sign up and uh, join our session with our uh, market market analyst, Michael Hewson, who um, has got a massive focus on FX going forward. So. UK 100, uh, not quite as bullish as the US 30, which is closer to its all-time highs than what the UK market is. Um, they can, so we're getting quite close to general elections here in the UK, so we've got about three or four months. Um, probably one of the most hotly contested elections in years. It's going to be quite close, uh, and that's maybe having a bit of an impact on sterling as well, but it's probably going to have a little bit of a downwards pressure on uh, UK equities as well until we have a bit more clarity as to which direction it's going to go and whose policy is going to come in going forward. Uh, support 64.15, resistance, potential resistance 65.89 on the UK 100. Japan 225, well this is getting a shot in the arm because dollar yen is completely reverse course. It was down about 118 the other day, it's quite close to 120 right now. Next potential resistance 17.496 as that dollar yen continues to uh, unravel, or not unravel, but shoot up higher as the safe haven yen buying kind of stops, I should say. We've seen a big reversal in gold in the back of that FOMC statement last night as well. Dropped about $10 down to 12.07. Safe havens aren't flavor of the month today, but they were a few days ago, incidentally. Um, but 17.496 is the level to watch in Japan to 25. And if we quickly jump on to uh, dollar yen, you can see they were having a, another surge there today. Uh, we might challenge short-term potential resistance. It's more like 120 spot 80, with a longer-term potential resistance, one spot 21.87. And everybody's pretty talking up the USD, pretty bullish the USD um, for as long as the macro data comes out nicely and the FOMC statement just adds to that. So looking at West Texas crude and oil inventories came out a lot worse than expected, minus 3 million barrels. Um, that gave it a little bit of, uh, of support, pushed up higher, but as you can see today's candle, we're already again in negative territory. So we're at 80, 47.60, um, but the low has been Below uh, 47 at 4681. Uh, let's see what happens today. So it has a price support. If it doesn't continue higher on the back of that uh, weaker than uh, that weaker than anticipated crude figure, then what's next for for, for West Texas? The pressure is still on. Um, looking at gold, which has always been a, a, a an interesting one, a bit of a tough one to gauge. I I personally don't like um, trading a lot of gold because it is not responding as well to some of the fundamentals as indices and FX and crude oil, for example. Um, but nevertheless, it did react last night, as you would have expected, with the FOMC mentioning about US interest rates not before April, um, which is a bit <laughs> earlier than what some analysts were, were, were expecting. Uh, it's come off ever so slightly. It's obviously not a titanic sell-off, but a failure to break 12.18 has brought it now to 12.08, so a $10 drop. So finishing up with Euro dollar, Euro dollar is on a weekly chart again. Let me change that to daily. Euro dollar on the back foot, not at the lowest it's been, but one <laughs> uh, spot 18 is fairly low. One spot 16.42 is the next potential support level. Um, any move higher might result in a retracement up to one spot 18.72 which may encourage sellers to come back in if we do get that move for then a longer term move back down to one spot 1642 as what some traders may be looking at finishing up with cable that that general election really weighing on the performance of the sterling really bad five days right here um very aggressive almost coming off five cents against the dollar 
looks like it's very uh, very firmly eyeing up one spot 48 13 is the next potential support level there doesn't seem to be much slowdown down right here they had been volatile at these two uh, these two candles but still ended quite negatively and we're dropping further as we speak and um, we do have uk interest rate decision due today but that's not going to be any different from usual to be honest um so that gives you an idea about where we are just now keep your eye on the chart form as ever Make insights part of your layer going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.